Hi, eighth grade. Today we're going to be doing our second round of factoring trinomials. We're going to be working on lesson 8-5, day two, um, and this is on page 500. So this time we're gonna be looking at factoring trinomials where the third term is negative, and we're gonna see what happens there. Your gotta check is gonna be page 501, number 3A. Your homework for tonight is page 503, numbers 20 to 29. And your bell ringer today is on page 505, number 65. Three sentences, please. All right, let's get to work. Mm -hmm. So today we're going to look at factoring trinomials. And this time we're going to look at situations where our third term is negative. So when our third term is negative, Again, it's a product of two factors. So in order to get a negative number as a product, you need to have a positive number times a negative number. So this is always a positive number times a negative number, okay? So if our third term is negative, we're always going to have one positive and one negative factor, okay? Let's take a look at an example and see how we work the factoring of this. So we're gonna take a look at an example. And I'm working an example on page 501 of your book. So this is x squared plus 2x minus 15. Okay, here we go. So the first thing I'm gonna think about is, of course, my goal, remember, Okay, your goal is always two parentheses, and I'm gonna put in my variable, so my variable is x, so I'm just gonna put that in right away, okay? Since my last term is negative, I'm gonna expect that one of these is gonna be positive and one is gonna be negative, okay? And when I'm doing that, so when I'm factoring this negative 15, I have to consider both positive and negative factor pairs, okay? So I'm looking for positive and negative factor pairs. Let me show you what I mean, okay? For 15, it's possible to have a negative one times a positive 15. But of course, it's also possible to have a positive one times a negative 15. Do you see how this works? I've got positive and negative factor pairs and I've just switched which one is positive and negative, okay? Let's find the other factors of 15. So my other factors of 15 are three and five. So I'm gonna look at negative three times positive five. And I'm also gonna look at positive three times negative five, okay? Then of course, as we're looking at these numbers, we need to pick the factor pair that is going to add up to positive two. And you've gotta pay really close attention to your sign here, folks, because if this is positive or negative, it can switch things around for you. So which of these will turn out to be positive two? Well, it won't be this one, that would give me 14. This one would give me negative 14. It's got to be this one right here. Negative three plus positive five would give me positive two. So this one right here is going to be my factor pair choice. And that's because negative three plus five will give me that too, okay? So now that I know my pair, I'm just gonna plug it into my parentheses. So this one would be x minus three, and this other parentheses would be x plus five. So just make sure you keep a lookout. And remember, whenever that last term is negative, you're gonna end up with one negative and one positive in the factor pairs. Okay, I think you guys are ready for the gotta check. So our gotta check is on page 501 and we're doing gotta check 3a. And let me pull this one up. It is n squared plus 9n minus 36. All right, pause the video and give this one a shot, and we'll come back when you're ready. All right, folks, let's take a look at this. Um, 36 is really interesting because it has a ton of factors. 
Um, the book didn't give us a super easy task because we're gonna have a lot of them to pick through. So I'm gonna start out by writing out my goal and I'm going to write in my variables. So I'm gonna have an N in the front of the back. And now let's take a look at 36, okay? Usually I write them underneath, but there's so many, I'm gonna write them over here on the side. So let's find our factor pairs of 36. So first options, I could have negative one and positive 36. I could also have positive one, negative 36. Okay, let's take a look at another one. All right, because neither of those added up will get me to nine, okay? What about um, two and 18? So I could have positive two times 18, or, or excuse me, negative two times positive 18 or positive two times negative 18, okay? But this would add up to 16 or negative 16. So again, won't get me nine, okay? Let's keep going. What about three and 12? So I've got negative three times positive 12 or positive three times negative 12. Okay, here we go. I think we found it. So if I look at this factor pair right here, negative three times 12, okay? If I take negative three plus 12, negative three plus 12 gives me nine. So I have found my factor pair. This one is gonna be n minus three times the quantity n plus 12, and I'm done. All right, so now it's time to try your homework. So your homework is page 503, numbers 20 to 29, and your bell ringer is page 505, number 65. All right, bye eighth grade. Have a great weekend.